So when hand making a carpet, you need a loom. The loom will be wider than the carpet and they'll dot paint the design on a graph page first. So it's actually very mathematical. So they'll dot paint each colour onto the graph page, then they'll choose each colour from the colour chart, then they'll dye each colour using batches of wool, dipping it in a hot vat until you get the colour that you want, and then they're put in one colour at a time. So they tie this green onto this base, which is cotton. The first knot will go around the back of the cotton base, then it will come around and turns into a knot. Then they keep doing the greens until they get to the red, then they put a red in, then they put a beige in, then they put a red in this particular design. Then they compact it with this tool. After they've compacted, they put a weft, which goes from right to left to separate each row, and then they start one knot at a time, one knot at a time. As they go, the pattern starts to build, but they can't see the pattern on the front because it's all long pieces of wool or whatever the fabric is that they're using. Then, when they finish it, they cut it off the loom. This cotton base is actually what you see at the end of the carpet. When it falls on the ground, it has a fringe. That's why the carpets have a fringe. Some carpets have more detail, so they have to make this base thinner. The thinner it gets, the more knots and the more design you can get into it. If your cotton gets too thin, it snaps. So then what you need to do is use silk and then something like this which is pure silk has a cotton was a cotton base they'd use a silk base instead and then they can tie more knots rather than using cotton